Well, a big hello everybody and welcome to our next episode. Today, Yana and I... We are at Chelmsford City Museum. Yeah, we've come along to Chelmsford City Museum. We're going to be taking a little look at some of the incredible finds that they found in the Chelmsford area. And now housed here in the museum. It includes a lot of Neolithic items, which is one of the main reasons I wanted to come. So we have a little look. Yeah. See what we find, yeah? Yeah. Let's go. Yana and I are starting our tour of Chelmsford Museum in the Essex Regimental Room, which holds a vast military collection all related to the Essex Regiment. We are sharing here a few photographs before we take you on a walk around. The Essex Regiment Room is a great place to visit if you ever have a chance. The room includes a huge collection of medals gifted to the museum from soldiers of the Essex Regiment that have now passed away. Yana and I have our own family connection with the Essex Regiment, our two times great grandfather, Charles Barrett of Colchester, enlisted with the 3rd Battalion on the 21st of November 1881. He went on to serve in India for one year and 127 days before he transferred to the Dorset Regiment in 1883. Also on display are weapons, uniforms, wartime posters and the very beautiful silver regimental drums. Yeah, look, these drums are nice, aren't they? It's all from the Essex Regiment. These Essex Regimental drums, look. Oh, I think they probably they might coincide with what's in this book. So yeah, there we go. So actually shows you who some of these um, badges once belonged to. So we've got the Dennis. It's so number five. So can we see number five anywhere? So it's number five, Dennis. just just there. And number five belonged to. Dennis Redding, who's quartermaster, quartermaster sergeant of the 44th, and there are some of the medals that he won there. Military history along the yard. So these are like some of the battles they like. So this was the Burma Star. So, so that's um, the part they played in Burma between 1941 and 
So he's looking over the top of the um, trench there, look. Mm -hmm. Is that what the trench would look like? Eh? Is that what the trench Yeah, it would have been, yeah. A lot muddier, though. Taxidermy and stuff. So it's part of the natural world. Look at this hedgehog. Can you see that? What is that? See, that's like a little, oh, I don't know, I suppose like a little weasel or something, could it? There's an owl. There's an owl in here, yeah, is it? Should you come and see the owl? Yeah. Oh, look at a rabbit. That looks quite cool, doesn't it? Oh, this is, this is perfect, John. Look, have a look over here. Wait, this is, this is some of the Neolithic tools that have been found. Michael. And they're quite similar to what so some of the stuff that we've really found as well, isn't it? Look, you look at this. Well, look, well, there we've got hammer stones and pot boilers. So we've got the flint module there, and the pick. So these ones here, these axes here, Yana, these are all Paleolithic, so these are really old. So it shows you uh, that one, number 20, that was found in Braxted, yeah? Okay. Yeah. You haven't found a ring stone yet, have you? That grinding stone, that's beautiful, isn't it? That grinding stone. Really yeah, that'd be so cool. <laughs> Something like that, wouldn't it? Look at that arrow. Yeah, those arrows are nice. And look at that. We've actually got some arrows that look like that. Yeah. We? <laughs> and look at this long arrow here, Yana, the, um, where, where, where they, we made that. Can you see that right at the top? Yeah. Wow, look at number five. That axe head there. This is so nice. That's stunning, isn't it? So good. Yeah, very beautiful. And then, then these little tiny microliths just there. Uh, they would have been used for like little arrows and stuff. Reproduction of, of one, yeah. Reproduction of one, that's pretty cool. So this is the lower jawbone of a woolly rhino found in Chelmsford. But this huge thing here that was found in Chelmsford and that's a woolly rhino. Well, it's a bit like a woolly mammoth. Yeah. And number nine, this long piece all the way along, yeah. that's a mammoth, a, a woolly mammoth tusk, and that was found in Chelmsford. So, yeah, so years ago, they would have had a yeah, woolly mammoth's hair. Yeah. And then you've got these two here, look at that, that flint tool there, that's really cool, isn't it? That round flint yeah, tool. And then as we come over here, we've got some of the Bronze Age. This is from the Bronze Age period, here. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Oh, Bronze Age Arrow, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. I love what they've made it into. 
Yeah. Some of the, and then just here, Yana, we've got some of the, from the Iron Age. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's like brickwork, is there or something? That's two clay loom weights from little wolf of these triangular shaped weights were pierced from each corner. That's interesting, huh? Yeah. They could be like bricks, don't they? is a Roman tile. Well, it's the, um, the Mancio would have been the most important building in Caesar Magus, the Roman settlement of Motion. It was a stopping point for the imperial post service between the important Roman towns like London and Colchester. So it would have been quite an important building. And, and, and we're in Motion as well, aren't we? Yeah. So this is where we are at the moment. Now, what's it smell like now? Like burnt to me. Yeah? You know the house we made? Mm. It smells like that. Does it? It does. Go and turn that one. Let's see what these guys smell like. Can you smell, Steve? No, it smells nice. It smells like herbs and stuff. That's sweet, that's clove. There's clove oil in that. I'm not too sure about that, but it's nice. They're nice smells. Yeah. I like the smells, but they're a bit strong. Yeah.
Ah, Tudors. Tudors and the Georgians in this room, you know? That was hidden inside of a chimney. Hmm? This chew was hidden inside of a chimney. Yeah. It's like a charm against witchcraft. found a what can you smell box I'm not too sure what it is no, it's five ago yeah yeah okay what can you smell Steve Smells like some herbs that were upstairs. Just like mixed. Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. That's... What is that? It's nutmeg. Mm. Nutmeg sweet. I'm not too sure about that one. It's not very strong. I can't tell. That's nice. Just here, we've got a Victorian kitchen. That range is nice though, isn't it? That cooking range, look at that. Oh yeah. You could burn yourself in that way, could not you? No. It's for cleaning clothes over there. Can you see that? Yeah. Those two of the two. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Look at the wooden chair, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, Reading book. It's a cooking book. Right, so we've got an old cooking that's sheep's feet and trotters. Ooh. So that's it's just showing you the recipe there, so you need 12 feet, quarter of a pound of beef or mutton, two onions, one carrot, two bay leaves, two sprigs of thyme, one ounce of salt, quarter of an ounce of pepper, two tablespoons of flour, two and a half quarters of water, the feet sheep's feet, or trotters, yum. <laughs> Sounds disgusting.
Now this is interesting, Arla Hoffman's, the ball and roll and roller bearing factory, yeah? This is where my granddad and my uncle used to work here. Mm -hmm. The Hoffman's. So your great grandfather and your and your grand uncle used to work for Hoffman's. No, well good, good, um, granddad is. This is part of Hoffman's here as well. Yeah. Well everybody, Anna and I have had an incredible look around this museum and I have to say it's quite nice isn't it? Yeah. Some lovely items in there and I was quite impressed with some of those Neolithic flint tools. What did you think of them? Uh, they're okay. They're okay? I thought they were incredible. Yeah, they are. And those cool. Roman items were lovely. Yeah, I love it. And some of them look similar to the one we found. Yeah, they do, yeah. And, and some of that pottery, you, because you know I like my pottery, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we know. So yeah, yeah, some of that pottery was amazing. Everyone knows that you like pottery. Yeah. I think. Oh, what's this over here? Oh, a train. It's like an old tram of some kind, isn't it? Yeah, an old tram. Oh wow, look at that. South, something about South, South End, I don't know. Yeah, so South End. See it. South End. Oh, that. it's pretty cool. There you go, that's what it says in the back. South End Local Board, South End Local Board oh. number 8, and it says Crompton Electric Railway. Crompton and Company Limited, London and Chelmsford. And a little bit of history about it. So it says here the railway carriage was part of a train designed by Colonel Reb Crompton just before 1890 to run along South End Pier, which is one mile long. It's designed its design of sit and beg seating earned its nickname the toast rack. The toast rack. <laughs> the toast rack. Oh yeah, I guess it does look like a toast rack actually, doesn't it? What's a toast rack? It's like a rack where you hold, where, where, where you have your toast. <laughs> Apparently, that's what it resembled. Everyone standing there with a toast, and the um, and the carriage was like the rack. So it's like a toast rack. Oh, quite interesting, though, wasn't it? Uh, even though we've got a bit of rain at the moment everybody we're going to have a quick look just in the gardens of the museum because there's a really nice cannon and it's like that dates from 1855 it says this carriage was presented to Major S.J. Skinner of Chelmsford in 1858. Quite impressive, isn't it?
Right, do you want to say goodbye to everybody, Vinyana? Uh, right, wave goodbye, say goodbye to everybody. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. See you on the next episode. Yeah, see you on the next episode, everyone. Ready? We are the adventurers. Yeah, Stephen and Yana, history and adventure hunters. Way. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. And we'll see you all soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.